special treat today. One of the things I do on my channel is to promote people to get off the couch and to get outdoors. So I have the perfect example of somebody that just didn't let anything stop her. She got a bug in her ass and she wanted to go out hike the JMT as you can see. So this is Trilby Arnold and also known with your trail name. What's your trail name Trilby? Turtle Two Step. Turtle Two Step. She just completed a 65 miles? About a 65 mile section from Cottonwood Pass to Onion Valley over Kersarge Pass, which is the highest point on the JMT, the John Muir Trail, and the PCT Pacific Crest Trail. So pretty amazing. Forrester Pass. Forrester Pass, what'd they say? Forrester Pass. Oh, Forrester Pass. 13,000, almost 13,200 foot pass. So an amazing accomplishment. So let's learn a little bit about Trilby. So Trilby, first of all, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I was the oldest woman hiking solo on the John Muir Trail. And uh, I'm an artist. I was up there to get fodder for paintings. I have more than 2,000 photos taken. John Muir Trail or some kind of long, beautiful trail had been a long time dream. And before my sell-by date came, I thought I should get on the trail and do it. So I conditioned, I trained, step by step, until I could do it. All right. So, so glad I did. So tell me a couple things you learned on the trail did you, from your experiences. I learned about an inner strength that's deeper than I do, that will go home with me. Uh, that there are challenges to be pushed through and some that shouldn't be. Well, what surprised you that things that happened on the trail or things you experienced on the trail? Were there any big surprises? <laughs> there were some big dramas. <laughs> you want me to tell you that one? Sure. <laughs> yeah. I ended up perhaps saving a person's life who was in hypothermia. And we spent a very intense, uncomfortable 20 hours in the bed chamber of my small tent. Uh, it's been a very ferocious storm, unlike the Sierra storms that were supposed to pass in two or three hours. This one went on for four days. But the first part of it hailed, temperature dropped ferociously, and as I had set up my tent, I heard a slurred voice said, do you have room for one more? And in he came, and we began to get him warm and sane again. <laughs> so a lot of people go out on the trail just to see nature and it's just something they want to do but everybody I talk to when they come off the trail something has changed about them yes. what's changed in your life uh, and how did, it how did you come to that change from your experiences on the Jamir Trail I have a greater sense of self and place uh, there was a peace within me that I need to recreate at home Friends, I'm going to be a little puzzled at some changes in me, I think. I received a great deal of respect for what I was doing on the trail. And I'm going to demand that from others more often. Yes, there's a lot of us people in the world. And today, I think, is National Climate Change Day. And one of the things I like to, the reason I like to promote wilderness is the more people that know about it, the more people are willing to try to save save it. So whether you believe in it or not, it's just uh, it's a really special place to me also. And I just uh, sorry for this line of questioning, but I, I, that's why I'm interested in your experience because uh, nature and wilderness is a very important part of my life. So I just like to hear other people's experiences. Mine, and you asked what surprised me. I was not prepared for the extreme diversity. I'd experienced that on the Highway 395. I mean, it's a remarkable amount of diversity. I was not expecting it in the Sierra Nevada itself. But around every turn is a change of terrain, of view, and of topography and geology. Uh, these great granite slabs that rise up into the air, 
take on different character. It's well named as a range of light, that's for sure, and as an artist, that's important to me. <laughs> and uh, that did take me by surprise. And how different it looks from the videos. Don't believe the videos, not even mine, when it comes out. So true. It's so much um, more amazing in person. So, so currently, Trilby is living a hobo life in a van down by the river. <laughs> yep. So I just. The reason I she, I'm talking to her here because uh, we made friends before she left on the trip, and she's living an amazing life right now, all by herself. So she's just a, very motivating to me, and she should be motivating to others. She's out uh, exploring, uh, solo, meeting people, and just doing, just living. And uh, it's kind of amazing what she's doing. But she's also an artist, so stay tuned to the end of this video. I'm going to show some of her artwork, and uh, if you're interested, uh, I can put you in touch with her, if any of her art, she doesn't have a website at the moment, but check that out, and it's real artwork because it's inspired by real life experience, so uh, thanks for uh, making a video with me, and uh, keep you. on, thanks for being so motivational, and keep on hiking, happy trails. I definitely spent money for the gear. I'm definitely going to continue doing okay. some backpacking. <laughs> and what's what's next on your uh, possible hiking trips? I'm thinking of section hiking, certainly part of the Arizona Trail. I live at the southern terminus. It makes sense to start there and do a few weeks at a time periodically. Okay, well, rest up after that 65-mile hike. And, <laughs> uh, yeah, cool. Well, thank you, and uh, thanks for uh, spending the time with me. Uh, We'll be, we're bonded by our love of the wilderness, and we're all connected. But uh, yeah, Trilby's really inspirational and motivational, so I uh, hope you enjoyed that. Thanks. Thank you.